in the still water here. It is just beautiful. Just lovely wildlife that we have the privilege to see. You'd rather see the kangaroos here than what you would grazing on the side of the road. Very shallow here, no real depth. I came around one side and now I come back the other, around the island. Just reeds. And then back will come. Very shallow here. Now deepening. And across we go. I saw them more or less head to the marker boy. I don't know what the uh, dusk I think is the time you can come out here. I'll be out well before then. So much dead still. Just gorgeous. Saw a couple of spoonbills. Um, just a little bit out of range. So the 400 mil, I took off the, I usually have it in the canoe with a 1.4 or 1.3 extender, uh, which uh, gives it, uh, well, really, your 400 uh, becomes five, about 560 or something like that, um, which is a very, very handy uh, focal length. And it gives you the room to get your shot and not be too close to the subject. If I was more wealthy, uh, I'd actually have a 5 or a 600. Uh, then you put that on a, uh, a 1.3 crop camera. Okay, and 10s into 600. 60 mil, 6 threes are 18, so then all of a sudden that 400 mil lens becomes field of view of 600, which is really, really good. Okay, if you have a 600 mil lens and you do that, you're up to, you know, 800, which is even better. You can see a lot of uh, bird life up towards the, uh, the point over here so just gorgeous I don't know what the uh, the boy is for what reason they've got a boy there but anyhow so I've had to carry my wheels with me um, and that way there, wherever I pull in, okay, got a lovely little duck over here, it just discreetly disappears. So the front of the uh, canoe also has a mount here for a, uh, a GoPro at the moment, mine's just sitting on my head. I'm sweating all over because of the fabric but it's actually handy because you get to see what I'm actually looking about it's not much good if I'm looking to the left or the right talking about a particular position and there's your GoPro pointed out towards the um, uh, the front of the uh, canoe this is beautiful water yeah 
It's been open a few weeks now. Uh, Saturdays. Apparently it's just like peak hour at Coles or Bunnings in regards to the number of people that are parked here. Which is not much chop. So So tomorrow's supposed to be a bit of rain. So that's why I came out today. It's not very often I get this opportunity. Last couple of Fridays I've spent all day marking. A lull before the the last four weeks of the semester. Stuff comes in left, right and centre because the students have to have their work in. And uh, you're marking on demand really as fast as you can so that if there's any resubmits or corrections and stuff like that that uh, they can do something about it it's not much good two weeks after the semester finishes finally catching up to your marking I mean that's just the plain roof done so uh, it's lovely have got a um, echo sounder and on the echo sounder it's also got the ability to work out how much distance you've traveled and one day when I get keen I'll just uh, a few people what they do is they mount the transponder just right against the right here with a pipe just coming straight down and uh, from the, your seating position you can just see the bottom and uh, pick fish I suppose that would be something else I don't know how many years old these are but I've been coming here for almost 50 years they've never changed they always look the same height but they obviously can't be but it's a bit of a drift uh, they're not being, they're not here for crop or anything like that for timber. Not like uh, on the other side of the dam, more towards uh, Yankalilla. Um, a lot of them have been cut down. So. And now we're just entering into the the shelter from the trees. Look at that. Got to find a way to put a seat in here for the grandkids while I'm little. While they're small so that they could come, that's gorgeous along here. Just dead still. So over there, where my head's pointed at the moment, the view, you can see a little bridge down there. That's basically the access to the, um, uh, that is the access here to bring canoes down not way back over there where I actually launched in so I wasn't aware of that so anyhow beautiful day just absolutely gorgeous dead still Imagine wind blowing down here though, so you can get some movement. Pretty good.
lot deeper water, jet black now. Couple of canoes up the top there, look like they're fishing.